Oh, here we go. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Grav. We'll take a moment to look around. It's all about exploration survival and making the world my own. Or our own. Not your own. Yeah, something like that. Uh, we should replace our rotted wood club and build a pistol. So, let's uh, press F8. Oh, yeah. Lead me around the menus. There is a lot of uh, controls and things in Grav, which is kind of cool. It does seem a little bit overwhelming at first, but uh, I'm sure we'll we'll learn it. We'll learn it just fine. I'm going to try and get off this mountain without uh, destroying myself. I'll farm some wood. Nicely. This way we can make some uh, pistols or whatnot. Am I supposed to be picking stuff up or... Oh, it has to go past, past the little bar. And yes, I'm supposed to be picking up the goodies. Oh, here we go! Ow. That hurt. My health bar is a little low now. <laughs> I've made a terrible mistake. But that's okay. There's a sparking ploppet over there. So we should uh, try and get this pistol together so I can nail him. I can nail him real good. Oh, hello, NPC. I'm currently not on a uh, multiplayer server just because it would not start. So we'll we'll see what this sparking plop it can do. I could try my melee attack. Bleh! Bleh! Bad boy. <laughs> well, that that worked out nicely, didn't it? Let's run over here, and we'll get the other one with a right click. Ugh! Oh, special melee attack. E to loot dropped goodies. Oh. Well. Oh no, this is the goodies. Okay. Organics. I know you can make uh, food with this, which will come in useful at some point. Pistol bullets. Webbed foot. Hmm. Essence of electricity. I guess I'll take all this. I should have got it from the other thing too, I suppose. It's been quite a while since I played Grav. My first video was a... Uh, not of the highest quality, just because my graphics card and stuff were um, lackluster at that time. But now we, uh, we're we looking pretty good. Things are running pretty smooth, all things considered. Although it is uh, still a game in development, I think. So if there's some frame drops or something like that, that could be a reason um, or an excuse. <laughs> I like excuse. That's a little more accurate. There's another thing. I'm gonna get him. Hey, you. What the fuck you doing? This is my house. My house. Oh, I got some rations. Semi-congealed mass is what is considered food. <laughs> Wonderful. And we are uh, getting some EXP. Ooh, stealthy. Stealthy, vicious, sparking ploppet. You're not so stealthy. Oh my god. He hit me. He hit me. <gasps> And there's an, another ration. That'll be nice. Let's try building a campfire. Campfire? Campfire. I guess it's placed item. Mm-hmm. We'll need ten wood to build that. That'll do just fine. We could build an armory and such as well. That thing creeped me out. <laughs> but there's a, a lot of baddies around here. Oh. And there's a blueprint. Um, I didn't quite see what that was for. Harvester. So we can harvest element X, which is the uh, end game resource that most multiplayer servers are uh, fighting over. You go and crack their harvester open and take all the stuff that you want. Oh, this is levels 5 to 6 over here. Bane element. Interesting. Quite interesting. You can dance at a campfire to recover health and stamina. We should have done that. Why wouldn't I do that? I want to see the dancing. Uh-oh. He's five times bigger than me. But I still defeat him. Oh, yeah. We got an invisible stim. That's quite nice. I'll have to build a pistol uh, pretty shortly. I think I have all the resources to do so. Hell, yeah! <laughs> Where are you going? C come back. That's pretty fun. He's having a great time on his his barren planet. Alright! And there's Mr. Vendroid. 
What are you doing, Mr. Vendroid? Hello, consumer. Hello, consumer! Won't you consume some things? Why, yes, I might. Actually, no, I won't. Because, uh... He just wants to sell me some gems and ore, which is all stuff that I could find for free. Monocycle, I do like that. Can I buy it? Oh, I need more Element X in order to make one. So he's not really a vendor so much as a let me help you craft some stuff guy. Wow. That guy took a quite a chunk of my health. Let's do some more dancing. <laughs> I kind of like the music. Yeah! Wonderful! And now we need to make a, an armory. Yes. Where should I put this? Put this around my campfire? Hmm. I'll probably get lost, and it's not that expensive to make one, so... I just build... I'll make, uh... Whatever I can. Some rotted wood armor. Combat knife. Oh god! Run away! Run away! <laughs> I don't want to die so early. I've been playing for five minutes or so. This is this is ridiculous. Okay. Are you gonna leave me alone? I think he's lost interest now. Wow. I almost got my shit handed to me. We definitely need that pistol sooner rather than later. I don't know, are they attracted to that campfire? Oh, they're battling each other. Good. Good! Excellent! I can, uh, destroy the victor. Uh-oh, poor Mr. Vendroid. Be careful! Oh god, he's dead. He's fucking dead! <laughs> Frozen vicious snap shell. Yeah. And it just nailed that, uh, level 1 dude. I'm gonna run deeper into the level 1 area. <laughs> And see uh, if I can't find a safer place to build that fucking armory. And maybe we'll come back and take that one. Oh my god, leave me alone! Leave me alone! There's a, a giant carcass. I could farm some bone fragments and things like that. Oh my god. Jesus. Please, please, please no. I am running low on stamina. It's blue. Is it mana or stamina? Maybe it's manima. <laughs> Does that make sense? Hopefully that thing gets uh, distracted. There we go. Good. Leave me alone. I'm innocent. I did nothing. Well, I'm gonna build another armory. That seems to be uh, a good idea. And I'll put it up against this little bitty. Hopefully it can be a landmark once I figure out what it actually looks like. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So there's the combat knife, flare gun. Uh, rusty pistol. Yeah, we're gonna make that. Hell yeah. Chick chick. So, uh, can I make any rifles or shotguns or delicious things? Rocket launchers. Ooh, yeah. This game has definitely, uh, come together since my last, uh, my last visit to it. Uh, I'll make the combat knife and then I can kind of get rid of the wooden club. Whatever this is. I'll just stick it in my inventory for now, I guess. Multi-tool mark two. So this is presumably better than the uh, the one I currently have. Yeah, that's mark one. So we upgrade. And can I recycle this or something? I don't know. We'll probably have to find some new, uh, some new blueprints and things like that. I really do like the guy my the way my guy looks at the moment, but I'm going to end up making some of these, uh... some of these disgusting rotted wood armor pieces, so I'm not completely destroyed by those level 5 characters. Oh, look at that! He looks so silly! <laughs> build a room with a door in the build menu. Find a blueprint and build a force field door. Find a blueprint and build a generator. Build an uplink! Oh, there's lots of, uh, instructions here. Let's try this. Hey! What are you doing? Pa pow Dead. Well, that that's relatively nice. Oh, and it's gonna be dark soon. If I know something from these survival crafting games, it gets a little dangerous at dark. But I do want to maybe farm some uh, wood and or bone fragments from this uh, fallen creature here. 
fossils. Yes, give me all your fossils. I require them. Well, that went much faster than I hoped it would have. But that's okay. Rather nice. Make sure to get all that. Let's, uh, try and build a locator or a flare gun. Hmm. There's lots of interesting things that I should be building, I think. Build a room with a door. Hmm. Well, let's see what we can do. Craft stims and devices. How about that? How about that? Can I, can I right here? Maybe? That's nice. Cool! Recall to uplink. Oh, that's why it wants me to build an uplink, so I can recall to it. That seems like a good idea. Base items. Powered base items. Stargate? Oh my god. Harvester, composter. Wood room with door. That's one of the things it wants me to build. Starting errors do not allow room building. Oh. So I'll have to go uh, do some adventuring. But I will set my uplink up here, just because uh, it's the starting place. Hopefully if I die, I can come back here. And I am linked to it uh, according to the face, so that's nice. I don't think I can unlink myself, which is fine. I'll need to... Uh... Oh yeah, I can unbind myself, but I'm not going to do that. That's crazy. If you link yourself to another one, it will automatically uh, unbind you from that one, though. That is something that I remember. Let's try this combat knife out. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. So we've uh, had a pretty good start, I do think. We've got some armor, we've got some weapons. It's a much quicker startup than uh, previously. Because, yeah, I spent about three or four hours playing the game beforehand. Um my last venture and I barely got a room built so we are definitely uh, operating at optimal efficiency oops I missed I'm sorry I missed and we are making a profit on the uh, the pistols the pistol bullets I only took three to kill him and I picked up 12 from the body so it doesn't seem like we're gonna need to craft any which is a nice thing what? What is all this? Hello? Does somebody live here? I don't know. Interesting. I should also build a locator. Apparently that's a good thing, and a flare gun. Hmm. Essence of electricity. I assume those are used for crafting stims and the like. And it keeps getting like a little darker and then a little lighter, which... I guess makes sense if you're uh, on a strange planet where the orbit is a little uh, off-center. Hmm. I wonder if I lost my, my base already. That would just make so much sense. I think it's over there near the mountain. Oh, that's a tree. I don't know where it is. We'll build another one. It doesn't really matter. This is like the starting zone, so I can't build my house here anyways. Give me some of this need this. All the fossils. Wonderful. More? More. And what is that thing? A frozen pecket. Well, you. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it, aren't ya? That works pretty good. Reload. There we go. Maybe I can get some, uh some heftier loot from these higher level creatures. Essence of Ice, Peckett Wing Feather. Hmm. Interesting. I shall take... Look at those light effects. Oh my god. That is delicious. Quite delicious looking. Uh oh. And somebody's in trouble over here. I'll help you, friend. Leave my possible friend alone. Gotta get ya. Oh, he's dead. I still finish this. It's over for you. Oh my. I 
takes quite a few bullets to get through these things. So I assume that is why you'd want to craft some bullets if you're uh, looking to take down higher level creatures from a distance. Because getting up in, uh, in their face with the combat knife seems like a cheap and easy way to do it, but um, yeah, that one level 5 guy took most of my health with one hit, so I'm not looking forward to doing that. Mr. Vendroid, hello. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. See, he says what I say. That's just adorable. And I think we are back in the starting zone now. I was hoping to find uh, my little research stations or whatever it is, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. How big are you? Level 5? Hmm. Let's try it. I have some nice wood armor. How's that? Critical. Oh, wow, that hurts. It, uh, it is softened just a bit by the armor. Alright. And we level. Wonderful. In the upper right, you can see that there is a, a notification for a Grokar attack, which is going on for seven days. Uh, I don't think that affects the starting zones. That was one of the early, early patch notes before I stopped paying attention and went off to the Philippines. But, um... I think that's a good thing, because even these level 5 guys are sort of hand to be my shit. Let's, 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 let's. I missed. Yeah. Takes 19 bullets to take that guy down. Which ain't cheap. And all I got is a little bit of rations. I don't like it. I don't trust it. We're going to have to level up just a little more in order to uh, make our way into the, the heftier regions of Grav. And hopefully we can find some better blueprints, better armor, things like that. Is that a, a stealthy guy? And his stealth doesn't work at night? Oh, he's explosive. Hello. Please don't kill Weiwei the Wary Wanderer. Dead. Yeah, that worked out nice. That's exactly what I want. Um, but I want to talk to Weiwei. Hey, you. Hey. 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 He doesn't say anything. Oh. I stepped on him. I'm sorry. Or did he get spit... Spit on by a, a thing? No, I think I am stepping on him. <laughs> One HP of damage. For every time I crunch him on the head. This is quite nice out here. And oh my god, look at all those stars. Absolutely fucking gorgeous. I love the light effects. And uh, I love that my computer can run it, more importantly. Because <laughs> the last time around it was uh, not good. Not good. Suskeron. I guess that's the planet. Lockborough might be the place that we are on the planet. And uh, I'm not sure what Bane element or any of that means quite yet. Hmm... I just know I'm glad to be away from those creepies. Away from all the little creepies. Maybe I can build something out here. Although, it probably wouldn't be the best idea just because there's not a whole lot of resources from what I can see. I would have to travel back in to, uh, into the woods. Oh my fuck. What is this? Oh my god. I don't think I want any part of this. Save up my stamina so I can run if it uh, comes down to it. Infected something something. Oh, they're level 4. That doesn't seem so bad. According to my little uh, rank thing on top of the toolbar, top right, I am uh, level 5. Level 5 astronaut, rank 5. I'm not sure what any of it means quite yet. I'll probably need some more wood. You always need more wood in these games. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme! That's so nice. Hopefully I don't get snuck up on by these guys. They're sneakier than I thought. They still only seem to have uh, one or two attack animations, which I find slightly disappointing. 
because uh, that's how it was in the beginning, and I said it's a little easy to get around the attacks, but maybe that allows you to uh, take on bigger and badder creatures or some such. So I'm going to take on this level 5 guy. Hey, bro. Yeah. Want some of this? Ugh. That'll do. Uh oh, and I hear another one creeping up. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let me take down your buddy, huh? Oh, and I'm low on stamina. That's why I can't do my special attack. I see. But I'm trying to uh, get my pistol ammo back up just a little bit. So that should help. It seems like those frog things only have a tongue attack, which uh, is relatively easy to get around. Oh my. Nah, I don't want to play with you. I don't want to play with you, bro. I'll see you later, man. Whoa. I still rather like the jump animation. Look at that big fatty fat. Is he bigger than the, uh, than the others? Is it the perspective effect that's going on right now? Sparking pickles the uncomfortable. Well, he seems uh, pretty mean. Are you threatening me? With your tongue? The disgusting tongue? Hello, yeah. Lots of blueprints from that guy. Force field door. Keep the riffraff out. That's right. Did I get another one? Yeah, generator. Burns wood and provide power for base items. It seems like it's kind of hard to die in this game. I did uh, take quite a leap. And luckily the health seems to regen whether or not you're dancing at a campfire. So I rather like that. This is the first uh, little bitty that I made. So we are just making a giant circle. And uh, I think cyclical is the way to end the first episode. <laughs> I hope you'll join me for the next time. We will uh, venture deeper into the woods and hopefully find a decent place to set up base now that I have my force field door and a generator. So friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. And if you do, friends, I'll send you a smartphone. It's a ZTE. It's not really... A, a brand name or anything, but it, it, it'll do you fine. Does me fine. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching, and until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.